Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the Gonzo Ewok channel. With me, Gonzo. Me, Ewok. For another episode of... Jolly Space, Space Program! Right, without further ado, let's get going. Mm. What did we do last time? Um, we uh, concluded the moon rescue. Uh, Wendy was stuck on the moon. We did a three-parter where we brought her home. That was correct. Um, it was nail-biting right until the, the very end. I know, it was a bit of a tricky re-entry, that one. I mean, I was worried that the that the return episode was going to be a bit of a dull one. We intended to shoot in two episodes. We had to shoot it over three. Aye. And I was thinking, oh, just flying back to back to Kerbin, that's a bit of a dull episode. High drama in High the skies drama. over Kerbin. And um, we've got positioned satellite in an equatorial orbit of Minmus. Aye. I think we should complete that. Uh, it'll get us... 137,000 well in total it'll get us 100,000 on top of what we've got now but I think more importantly it helps us set up that network of satellites that we've been gunning yeah. for to try and you know boost their, the available income from and these contracts these, these contracts, contracts yes. we've already made good use of them around the moon so why not get that going on in Minmus as well I'll tell you what else I'm going to do while we're here which will serve as a little teaser to what we're going to do in the next mission I'm going to pick up the contract Explore Juna. Now are you sure Ewok? I'm positive. Because that means interplanetary. It does Our mean record interplanetary. Our is not great. Well we're going to get 210,000 just for taking the contract. When does it need completing by? Uh, it's indefinite. It's one of the, oh, well, one, yeah, of the well, one of the never we'll expires ones. Get her into that at some point. But you know in total what 75, 37,500 times 3, 484,210 you're looking at 800,000. Yeah. What could do with that? Fat stacks. We certainly could. So yeah, that's that taken. That's a little teaser for what we're going to try and do next episode. But uh, in the meantime, and without further ado... Let's do it. There's a little spoiler here that uh, Juno signs probe. I've been working on something. It's not ready yet. Yeah. It's not ready yet. Um, it's something I tested in uh, the Geordie test program. Doesn't work. <laughs> 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 that tells you everything you need to know. Uh, but... We're just after the cheap satellite at the moment, so let's get this bad boy in orbit and get the uh, get it up, get, get the missiles back as quick as we can. Nice, launch that mofo. Yeah, these are um, these aren't little bad um, sort of short range satellite launchers that we've developed. Quite they're pretty good. Effective. I mean, they're, they're dirt cheap. I right. think they, they cost just over a thousand. Uh, I think, or maybe ten thousand actually. Yeah, that's a bit more. Ten thousand is probably more reasonable. Um, I mean the. Wobbly as piss and horrible to control during this launch stage. Cheap, but cheerful. That's that's all they need to be, really. But it, yeah, exactly. It doesn't really matter. Get, um, get a bit warm. Get a, they, they they do get a bit warm on the way up. <laughs> this is true. But I mean, they do everything we need them to do, and on a budget. Was that's it, why I called them cheap satellites. Was it always this wobbly? I, I don't. Can't remember. I don't. I don't remember it being this wobbly. I think my gravity turn has probably been a little uh, harsher Crap. than it could have been. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, it's going in the right direction, which is up. It's very warm. It, it gets warm, it's fine. It's only going at a thousand metres a second. And those pharons are pretty robust. There we are. Nice. So that does basically get up to break an atmosphere, which is uh, very canny. Pretty much. I mean, it's not the most efficient uh, launch stage by any margin. No, but hey, it does the trick and it's cheap. That's what we're looking for. Well, yeah, I mean... Little cost for big gains. It's all about making money on these contracts. And the best way to make money is not to spend much to start with. Aye. And we get 100,000. We don't want to spend 50,000 launching a satellite and get a 50% return when we can spend 10,000 and get, you know, a 90% return. It's spinning wildly out of control, but that's that's not a, a major concern right now, is it? it? It's just the atmosphere. As soon as we get out of the atmosphere, we'll get the control back. And we'll be able to circularise that orbit nice. without much effort. We'll still have plenty of fuel left over. Um, this this stage itself is good, but even the the tiny little stage Aye. that's hidden under Not the pharon yeah. is enough to get you where you need to be. Nice. So, while we're waiting for this to uh, break orbit and for that burn to uh, come around so it can circularise, have you been playing anything else apart from Curlow Space Programme? Uh, I've been playing a few things, uh, which I can't remember now that you've put me under pressure. What I have been playing that I can't remember is Her Story. I played that the other day. Uh, indie game, British game, I believe. I'm not 100%. Mm. Uh, but it's like a, a sort of detective-esque kind of thing where you've got uh, seven police interviews with a woman. And they've all been fragmented and broken into 
clip's about 10 seconds long, and you've got to use like an emulated, really old, uh, kind of thing, like almost pre-Windows 95 kind of... Uh, the old 3.1 yeah, search engine. kind sort of, of operating country. system with really awful search engine, and you've got to try and use that search engine to search for keywords and the clips and try and stitch the story together and find out what's going on. And as a result, you end up sort of watching these interviews out of order, Aye. like 10 seconds at a time, and getting little clues every time. It's a really simple idea, um, but it's really interesting the way that the story unfolds. And because it's unfolding based on what you've searched on, I think everyone will have it transpire in a, a different way to them. Aye. Everyone will see different clips in different orders and find out different parts of the story. And even when you get all the clips, um, and find out like the answers, a lot of it's open to interpretation and you kind of have to put your own ah, interpretation yeah, conclusions, on it. Ah. Like, it. Was she telling the truth at this point when she said this? Was she lying? Mm. And you know, it's 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 a one I've seen pop up a couple of times on there, on Steam and I've quite liked the look of it but it was one of them ones that I was concerned that it could be really, really good fun could play really well as a story, but I wasn't quite sure how it would work out as like a gaming experience. But as a gaming experience, hearing good things I've about thoroughly it. enjoyed it. Now, right. I'd probably say I only got maybe three or four hours out of it, but I only paid like four quid for it, so you know, one pound an hour, it's not bad Aye. as an enter- a value of entertainment. Aye. I've paid a lot more for a lot less. Oh, indeed, I just look at paying 60 quid for a triple A game that doesn't work, <laughs> and then uh, see how you feel about that. So, you're getting the inclination sorted here? Absolutely, yes. Just sorting our inclination so that we're ready for that transfer. Yes. And while I do that, what have you been playing, buddy? Well, um, it was my birthday, just a weekend gone. Um, at time, mm-hmm. of, at mm-hmm. time of recording. Um, Happy birthday. Thank you. Much appreciated. I did send you a message on the day. And you I'm, did? And I'm taking you to the pictures. Oh, nice. You're going you're gonna to treat us, are you? I am, yeah. Nice. We're gonna go I don't like the way you said that. That sounds ominous. I think you've got <laughs> other plans. Oh, oh, oh. I'm problema, I'm problema. Before we run out of battery, I know we've got really basic solar, solar panels on aye, this. Aye, just the stick there. But um, aye, so for my birthday, my um, brother-in-law sent us um, some cash. It's like a Steam wallet. Um, now, there wasn't really much that's out at the minute that I was thinking I'd really like to pick up and play. I've been playing a fair bit of Rocket League and really enjoying that. Um, oh yes, I've been playing a lot of Rocket aye, League. Um, I know the two will played it online a few times, really good, sort of digging that. A lot of old games, I've been hitting things like um, still going back to Total Wars as I do, been playing bits of um, war game European Escalation, Like, but it's an RTS and I'm not very good with RTS style games, like a modern warfare set in 70s, 80s sort of Cold War style. Looks quite good and I like the scope of it, but it's it's a bit tricky, I'm, I'm not quite understanding how to play it properly yet. But in any event, I, with the money that I got sent, um, a game I'd had my eye on for ages, um, was Darkest Dungeon, that's right up my street. Sort of permadeath, sort of a bit roguelike-y, um, and quite like the look of that. So I picked that up, um, and I've played probably less than an hour of it so far. Just picked it up and put it on, played the first hour, see what I thought, and instantly I've taken a shine to that. So I'll definitely be going back to that and playing it at some point. Thinking, if I put in a few more hours and I start kind of working out what the hell's going on so I could explain it, I might do a little mini-series. Okay, that'd be cool to see. Uh, just every now and again, maybe do like a few parts, put them up, because every mission's slightly different. You get quests, you go down into this dungeon, and basically you're managing your party in kind of uh, turn-based combat, you're doing exploration, um, yeah, characters have different traits, some of which are positive, some of which are negative, um, there's character development, RPG elements. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. You're kind of managing the... It, it captures instantly that kind of like, it feels really dark and foreboding. Like your guys, when you send them down into the dungeon, they start cracking up. So they're coming out and you're getting little sort of comments from them and they're just like, I can't go back down there. Please don't <laughs> send us back down there. It's horrible. Sounds like um, my cup of tea as well. It's really, it's really good. I mean, it's called Darkest Dungeon and certainly it's dark. Um, and, d- and dungeony. And dungeony. But I just, the atmosphere of it's just it instantly kind of grabbed my attention. I was like, I quite like this. It's kind of about the human cost of all these like swashbuckling dungeoneering kind of um, scenarios you see happen in gaming. It's dealing with kind of the human cost of that and just watching people just slowly coming apart and then of course a lot of people die um but yeah really really like that so i'm thinking at some point if i find some time to do it i might do a few episodes of that see if people like it um well I would if watch people it, do i i might i might start doing you know not a regular thing but like a semi-regular thing putting up like the odd sort of dip into the dungeons checking in to see how things are going 
you've got like a village above the dungeon and you're trying to upgrade that as well to give yourself more features so there's a lot going on but that being said most people probably will understand the basics of it now it's it's a game that's been out at least best part of a year it's still in early access but it's it's there thereabouts i didn't realize it had been out so long it actually appeared on my uh discovery feed quite Aye. recently I just kind of skipped over because I've bought, I bought quite a few new games recently to be honest with you Aye. Uh, Rocket League yeah I can't believe when you asked what I've been playing I forgot Rocket League because I've been yeah you've Rocket put League way more really hard it, it, because the games are only five minutes long it really captures that oh I'll just have one more game kind of mentality Aye. that I really fall victim to Aye. so I can lose a lot of time just going oh I'll just have one more game and then I'll go to bed Oh, that was a really good game. One more, and then I'll go to bed. It's There's only been a five few minutes. times where, like, I've hopped on to Steam sort of later on with the intention of like checking me, like, say, checking me messages, checking the forums for Project Zomboid before I go to bed, and then you see that I'm playing. Rocket uh, you're League playing or... Rocket League, and I'm like, oh, just jump in. I'll give them a quick game before I go to bed, and then it's like, yeah, you're now well past your bedtime. You're going to be tired tomorrow. I've been really liking it though, and the one thing that frustrates me is how you can quite often. Uh, I've been playing a lot of ranked games, and quite often you get put in with a couple of teammates who just like want to stick like glue to the ball Aye. and I don't mind playing defensively every now and again but I feel like I'm playing defensively way more than my fi- uh, my fair share Aye. just because if I don't there's nobody win to pick up those rebounds. You see I'm finding actually in the games that I'm playing I tend to be sort of I'm not saying oh well respected or well liked by my peers but because I tend to play defensive but I like that when I was playing football I was always goalkeeper I'd be first up for, for being a net that was not a great goalkeeper but that was that was my position really. see the problem is in Rocket goal. League I suck in defence but I suck less than nobody doing it mm. so that ah, that may, that'll do so they're always uh, like all my teammates will be like chasing the ball and then somebody will take a shot and I'll let it in and they'll go oh yeah what a save! Oh, like, that was totally shit. Why didn't you jump? Why didn't you do this? And I'm like, mate, I never asked to be the goalkeeper. Aye. Yeah, that's the point. It's like, well, if you're complaining so much, you come and be the goalkeeper. Yeah, exactly. Aye. It's better than your defence, which is be the other side of the pitch. But um, yeah, that's really, really good fun. Another game I've been playing, actually, you know how I bought my PS4 to play some sort of terrible sports games? Mm-hmm. I picked up MLB, wrote the show, Baseball Simulator. Oh, wow. Put myself up in, uh, in that. Um, I'm finding though with a lot of modern sports games they're such a good simulation of the actual sport that if you're only like a very casual fan of it it's very hard to understand what the hell's going on so um, I've been playing like a career mode in um, in uh, Road to the Show playing baseball really really good fun though look at how cool that is mate ah yeah it's hitting the planet mate no that's that is where we're going to be oh that is where we are now however there's a problem with that can you spot the problem? Um, yeah, the problem is we're going the wrong way. Yeah. It's a bit better. Should have probably checked that before the uh, the burn, but it's a very small burn to put that right. Oh, no, I mean, I was just focused on getting the the intercept, really, and then do uh, the correction burn later. But we've still got the, um, still got the, the little mini tank, and that'll be very efficient when we get going. It will be, um, to be honest. I probably could have done the whole thing once we got into orbit. Mm. Uh, can't warp so far. I'll just uh, I'll just manually manually skip time forward. Hopefully, it won't go past it too much. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, not getting there. It's been a while since you've had to do that since they brought in the little warp to uh, maneuver node feature. Uh, yeah, it doesn't like it when you go through like multiple encounters though. Mm. Like if I tried to skip into the Minmus sphere of influence it'll probably skip straight past it it seems to be more or less fine if you're doing it on the plane that you're currently in but it's those intercepts cause a a real problem Uh, I just have to nip to the map while I do this manoeuvre to make sure I get it smooth there we go nice there we go that'll do nicely Uh, it's a little bit wonky but Um, not so much that we can't correct it when we get there put that right one there and it's better to be a little bit far out as well. Ah, uh, easier to bring it in. That's probably bringing it in a bit too much. So I'll bring it in there. Once we're in that far, I'll correct the inclination and then I'll get the rest done. Nice. Not the most exciting mission in the world, but it, it gets this out of the way and it means that we've got the infrastructure there. So when those sexy missions come up, we can complete them in a flash. Aye. 
But um, I, I think in terms of uh, in terms of sort of upcoming games, there's not really much I've got my eyes on. Um, and Save I'll... that for the podcast, buddy. Oh, we're doing a podcast. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a podcast. Uh, there's not too much you're looking forward to. We're straight out of Gamescom. Have you not seen any of the previews? I didn't catch any of Gamescom. I've, I've started ignoring the conferences because I've worked out that you can't trust anything that's at them. Well, that is so, true. But so I don't bother. That is true, but we need content to discuss. So. <laughs> um, Aye, I suppose there is that. But no, I've avoided them. Just after the past couple of years, um, some of the AAAs have promised the Earth and then released a series of janky, broken, not very good Why have we got no electric charge? We have... Sun exposure zero. Um, sun expo. It's got some sun exposure. Um, yeah, we're dead. Well, mate. There's a there's a sun there. Um, could we have hit that bug? We could have done. We've had it before. Try the old quick save and quit load. It's not that it's just sitting on zero. It's. Um, I what mean, have I done there? Careful we have random hitting the buttons. Um, We've had this problem before. It's very annoying. I mean, they should definitely be catching the sun, right? It's not just a stupid angle. While well, we've been gassing on. I mean, it's a lot of sun. <laughs> I mean, they should be getting a little bit at least. They should be. And that one is getting a little bit. See, it's direct sunlight. Um, can we try turning off Stay this direct sunlight? Well, there's nothing that should be using the electricity, so it should be charging very slowly, shouldn't it? I can't take anything off. Uh, right. We'll try space center and then back. Hmm. I've been getting a few little bugs lately. More so than usual, to be honest with you. Has there been any uh, recent updates or anything going on? Mm-mm. No, it hasn't been. I've even been getting crashing bugs. It's been particularly irritating. Mm. Um, but then again, I haven't tried uh, validating my files or doing a fresh install, so maybe something like that would help. I actually, um, um, I noticed the PC that I meant the world started bleeping at us. Um, oh dear. While it was running, it wasn't like a start of like BIOS error bleep that you would sometimes get with a machine. It was just the hard drive randomly bleeping. I was like, oh shit, the hard drive's failing. Um, done a bunch of checks on it and there was nothing going on with it. But every now and again you'd get beep, beep, quite regularly. And it was driving us mental. So after about two days of playing with headphones in to just try and block out the beep sound, um, all I had to do was just run like a massive scan disk and there was a couple of bad sectors. And it was just making the disk skip. Uh, the importance of PC mains. Something that we, including me, often forget about. I really don't since I've gotten this one. This thing's cleaned every couple of weeks. Spotless on the inside. Um, we're going to have to quit out and come back here, aren't we? No, no, we'll just keep it running. This won't take a minute. Not with your funky-ass super quick-loading PC. This is true. And will our recording software still pick up the game when it loads up? It should do. Let's check. Um... Yeah, there, there you go. go. Lovely. Live loading on PC that mount the world, as it happens. It's a lot quicker than it loads on my PC, I have to say. I get, uh, it, it seems to be the first time I load Kerbal Space Program, actually. It takes a while. Mm, might be like putting stuff in, yeah. But then Maybe. if I close the game and then reopen it without restarting my computer, it seems to work just fine. Aye. Well, well fingers crossed. I hope this is giving me power now. We've got the same bloody problem. Very annoying. I don't really want to cheat and do the debug, but it's not really leaving me with much of an option here. Ooh, we've, got, we've got a unit of power there, but then it's gone away again. You're saying I've rotated there. Oh, we're getting some. We're getting some. Ah, so it is working, then. It is just for some reason one of the solar panels was not very good. I mean... We're way past where we should have manoeuvred. <laughs> so yeah. we're just going to have to do a hard retrograde burn. And I'm going to ditch that second section. Or that first section. I make it just to make it, to move. make it more manoeuvrable. Indeed. I just let it sit in the sun until it gets a few units of electric. Just to get what going. I'll just turn everything off. Uh, let it charge up. Oh well, this is probably going to be slightly longer than we, uh, we intended. but Hey, we've got it back. That's the most important thing. Aye, uh, this is what happens in space. So getting a few units, but 
Is it possible just to like hold it just in direct sunlight where it's getting lots of it quickly? Um, I mean, there it's flying away, getting lots of units. Yeah, seems to like that, and then just kind of let it sit. It's spinning horribly, despite the fact I've got stabilization on now. Hmm. Oh well, we're nearly up to ten units of electricity. Good two hundreds, what we need. Nearly there. There's something going on. With has it got torque disabled or something? Shouldn't do. I mean, it shouldn't be spinning like that. Mm. Has the game updated? And we just didn't re didn't spot it. I haven't seen any updates coming through. Are you um, doing our burn here? Yeah, I'm just uh, getting us circularized. But look at how poorly this is controlling. There's no real reason that it should be doing that. Aye. I mean, that is really not the kind of... <laughs> yeah, that's 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 not really going to do it. But I've only took a couple of units of fuel. But why is this wobbling so badly? Ah, it's solid. Just get it into position. We'll just do it. We'll be fine. Aye. Get the job done. We don't really need to worry about it once it's there. Because it'll be going around... Uh, Minmus, and it'll be getting some, some power as it needs to, as long as we've got enough where we can actually complete one of this. I'm still a little works. concerned that it's a bit, it's just acting a little erratically, a little strange, and there's no reason for it. Well, I don't pretend to understand what Kerbal's doing under the hood, so to speak, anymore, because it is just sometimes completely and utterly weird beyond belief. No, nope, we seem alright there, we've got the time warp on. And now I've got the time warp on. Um, obviously, that's killed that weird spin that we had going on. Aye, we've got my electric back. That's handy. Somebody's turned the lights back on. Whoosh, okay. Nice. Yeah, that'll do. Ah, uh, it's close enough. The old Ewok uh, catchphrase. Right, so that's 250. That's 260. Ideally, we want not to be so wonky. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit better. I was that's wondering a bit what better. they were doing. I was wondering what was going on. Right, so we need to push that out about 255. I'm a little weirded out. I'm a little bit worried that if. We experience this kind of instability on our planned mission to Juno. That that's going to scupper things. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that something weird's happened in the game where it hasn't been entirely our fault and things have went really badly wrong. It is just really strange that the reaction wheels aren't keeping things stable. It's a small satellite. We've used this satellite many times before, and we've never had that weird spinny problem. You noticed yourself that even during a launch. It was, uh, it was, it was a bit wobbly, yeah. behaving wobbly. a little erratically. Mm. Um, unless there's been an update yesterday, I can't imagine why anything would have changed. Um, I played it yesterday, didn't have any problems. I haven't seen any uh, updates coming through, and I haven't heard anything either. I haven't read any, you know, like updates do often happen on a Tuesday night, mind. Aye. Um, cause squad uh, squad team to work Tuesday to Tuesday on their sprints. Aye. Oh, I used a, I used a, techni a technical yeah, term there. Right. Oops. Um, yeah, they seem to work Tuesday to Tuesday because uh, they do the updated dev notes on a Tuesday night. Aye. And I've noticed quite often that the updates have actually come out to coincide with uh Well, with a lot of developers do that, don't they? I mean, it gives them something to talk about as well. Then if they're putting out an update, it actually gives them stuff to put into their dev notes. To, rather than saying, this is what we're working on, you can say, this is what play we've with done. this and tell me what you think. Aye. Cool. All right, that's 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 looking all right. Oh, that's close enough. <laughs> Stop stealing my catchphrase. <laughs> right, let's uh, get that side down about. Who's whose catchphrase am I going to use? He what? This thing doesn't have legs. What that's am I point. supposed to say? You just say nothing and be grateful. Be grateful to be here. It's my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a point I can't really argue with. Prick. Just be grateful that I'm here. <laughs> We'd be grateful you're company, rather than be grateful you're in your own house. All right. Now it's it's behaving itself on the nav pole there, by the looks of it. 
sort of. Well, no, I mean, if I move it, you can see that there's one hands free. We've got stability assist on, and it's still uh, it's still it. wonking. Um, we will have to, <laughs> we will have to check for an update because uh, the well we'll we'll get this one in the bag we'll get the loot if there is an update uh, they're saying that the next thing they want to introduce is uh, you have to have satellite relays in order to send probes out certain distances Aye. Um we're planning to send a probe to Juna yeah out a distance just saying so we'll double check it could just be a little bug that's causing uh, unnecessary panic. Probably is to be honest with you. Aye, but we do tend to um, obsess a little bit too much, I think, at times about some of these minor issues. Right, is that close enough? That is close enough. Maintain stability for 10 seconds and then the mission is done. Mint. There we are. There we are. Fantastic. So that's another 100k in the bank. Back to the space centre. Ah, probably a slightly longer one. We are trying to still aim for shorter, um, shorter episodes. Yeah, twenty six minutes. We've gone, we've gone six minutes over. Uh, nobody's really give any kind of feedback on whether or not they're a good thing or not. So we're just going to keep doing them until we hear otherwise. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That sounds good to me. Aye. Well, thank you for watching this episode, and join us next week where we will hopefully be doing a, a mission to Juno, which should be interesting. It'll be further than this particular Jolie Space program has ever been before. It certainly will be. It'll be one small step for Kerbal Kane. Indeed it will. And we um, hope to see you then. Also, uh, check out the Kerbal short that should have recently been published where you get to see how the Ewok space program The is much, going. much better, much better financed, much better achieving. Is that a word? It is now. Um, yeah, just go and have a look at that and say, yeah, that looks better than what you've got here for Jolie Space Program. Yep, you can select that under the Kerbal Shorts and you can also subscribe and look us up on Facebook and Twitter and all of that shit. And we will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.